I think people should really believe in themselves and have a lot of self-confidence and know that they can do whatever they try to do and set out to do. The course is really about learning how to take that knowledge you've got from uh, having earned your certified ethical hacker and applying. We're going to learn the forensic methodology. We're going to talk a about a lot of the legal issues. But at the end of the day, we all have to defend. So I bought an Atari 800 with a whopping 48K of RAM and a basic programming cartridge. And before I knew it, I was programming basic games, little text games, input this, go subroutines and so forth. And uh, I, was, I was hooked. They even have a, a malware that will redirect the, the communication where they actually use your computer to, to relay their, their login. So it looks exactly like it's coming from your computer. We can defend our networks today, and that's what this course is all about, is defending our networks. Everything we teach you, we tell you over and over again, the most important step is ethical. I think this is an excellent way to gain knowledge as to how to work with the executives. It's about how to apply it in an environment where you can actually become part of a cybersecurity group where you'll go out and actually perform these types of penetration tests on systems. By the end of actual training, you're going to realize that we've got you to really push the limits of your capabilities. You've been able to cover the grounds from a 360 degree perspective. The more and more you know, people start to use technology, and the greatest thing that I've seen overlooked is mobile technology. We wired the first ship, was called the Fort McHenry. All right, so when we wired to Fort McHenry, it took six months to prototype it, and we finally wired the Kitty Hawk Battle Group with Internet Access. And that was the first time a ship went out to sea and had Internet Access. Been teaching CHFI since 2007 for EC Council and a lot of other individuals. So in the course of my doing my examinations and forensics since about 2004, I've been involved in hundreds of different cases and looked at uh, hundreds of different pieces of media or digital media related to electronic crimes. I was able to convince and explain things to non-technical people so they would have an understanding of what was going on. And that's what led to technical training and being in the classroom, which I totally enjoy. And on top of all that, you can achieve the certification to back up your skill set.